y'all, it's Matt with Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews, and we've got another video in our Hints, Tips, and Tricks series of videos on how you might be able to make a little more out of your cruise. My question to you is, have you ever been on the ship and you've wanted to plug in one of your devices so you can view something on your screen? in your room. Maybe it's your favorite show, maybe you want to stream something, and you're plugging in your device and you just can't get it to work on your TV. Well, I can't guarantee this will work on all ships, but we found a method here on Oasis of the Seas that has worked for us. Let's show it to you. All right, here we are with the standard TV that you'll find in most rooms on a ship like Oasis the Seas or any cruise ship. And you see we have the newer menu system. Some of the brand new ships like Odyssey, I believe we saw this on, in this menu section here, you would see a menu item called Stream. And that would allow you to actually connect to some streaming services, which is really great, but it doesn't give you everything you might want. So in this case, I have my iPad here. I'm a big Philadelphia Phillies fan, and I wanted to watch the Phillies game this afternoon, but I didn't feel like watching it actually on my device. What I did is I have on my iPad this little lightning to HDMI connector, which is really handy, and an HDMI cord, and I have that at least this worked for us, plugged into the back. I have that in HDMI 2. I haven't tried if this works. I mean, it, it probably does work on other ports. For this case, I've got it in HDMI 2, and that's what's working for us. So that's great. You, you're, you're plugged in and everything. But with this menu system, you are restricted from setting the input to an HDMI input. But you go to safety information, live TV, you can scroll through all the settings, go up and down when you're actually in the channel. Channels, video on demand, there's nothing there. Ship information, nothing there. Account, nothing there. Settings you can go down into and there's nothing about being able to, you can just change your language for the menus and set parental and purchase controls. So there is no way that we found through the normal menu system, no buttons on the, on the uh, TV, there is no input button on the remote to be able to switch those inputs. We were doing a little finagling and, and I've got to give all credit to Rebecca who actually got this to work just trying things. So here's the method. It does take a little bit of work. I do know there are others out there that say if you buy a Samsung remote or a universal remote that's set to a Samsung TV, there is a method you can use to get into the service menu and open up that HDMI port for use. I don't have one of those and uh, maybe I'll get one for a future cruise and take a look at that and see if that's easier. If that's easier than this, then I will make a video showing that methodology also. But let's show you what I did. We have to unplug the TV. Back here, there's a power plug right here. So you just unplug from the TV. All right, so the TV's completely powered off. What we do at this point is just go ahead and, oh, there we go, plug it back in. Now quickly, uh, actually, you don't have to do it quickly because you need to power down. We power on, there's a power button, I think somewhere down here. Let's take a look. Right under this, uh, this infrared light for the remote, there's a power button. So we go ahead and hit that on. And then as soon as that comes up, I did it fast. As soon as your screen goes blue, but you can't wait till it fully boots up to the point that you have the menus. As soon as it's blue, like this, I did it really fast, so it's hard to show, but I hit this menu button right here on the remote. This will not work when after the menus have all come up. But while it's, the menu system is booting up and you just have this plain blue screen with the yellow dots, you can hit the menu button, at least on this TV, and it pops up. Now you can see it continued booting in the background, so now it's got all the menus and everything, but the big thing is to get into this menu. What you do here is, you know, from here you could actually make some adjustments to the picture if you want, stuff like that. I don't mess with any of that stuff, but what I do is I scroll down to support. Once you're in the support menu, you can scroll down to the one you want is source list. Hit okay. 
And then across the bottom of the screen, you're gonna have all the sources. I'm gonna scroll over to HDMI 2, and you, so I'm gonna hit enter. And boom, that is not a problem with the TV in this case. You can see it's actually displaying my iPad screen, but the MLB app is uh, not letting me uh, run it. But you can see I've got my screen here. You can then stream a bunch of different apps. So I'm gonna go, you, let's just do plain YouTube. Uh, yeah, I was watching a barbecue video earlier. And there it is. Yep, you can see he's, What was he making? Baycato. So this is actually the YouTube TV app. It is streaming just fine. This is the uh, NFL network. Um, picture's a little blurry right now. That's more to do with the streaming um, that's coming through on the ship and how much uh, bandwidth is available right now. But you can see uh, it's actually displaying on the TV perfectly fine. So I could watch anything on my YouTube TV. Now, I will say I have a VPN set up on my iPad that allows me to watch some of the streaming channels that may not work uh, when you're at sea, but that has worked just fine for me. Uh, let's let's see if we can find another uh, streaming app that works this way. Okay, here we're showing Netflix, basically just showing what's on my screen up on the TV. If I go ahead and hit play here. Yep, there we go. It's very quiet in the up. There's the sound. And one more to try to start streaming from the iPad. I'm gonna go ahead and pick, let's see. I'll pick a Star Wars. Oh, it's the new series Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, let's go ahead, I'm gonna hit play on my iPad. Now we are streaming Disney on our room TV. All right, so we hope this, this hint, trick, tip, whatever you wanna call it, I hope it helps you out. If you are looking to stream something from one of your devices onto a ship TV, at least on Oasis of the Seas in this room, this methodology worked for us. Let me reiterate what we did again. First of all, you need to make sure you have your device connected into one of the HDMI ports. We used HDMI 2 in this case, so we know that works. You also then need to unplug your TV completely to do a full reboot, plug the TV in, hit the power button. Right after you hit that power button, when the screen goes blue, immediately on the remote, hit the menu button. You can't wait until the actual menus appear on the screen. Just as soon as the screen goes blue in the current menu system, hit menu. You'll then get a system menu that pops up. You scroll down to the support and then you uh, scroll down to source. And from there, you're able to you know, scroll along the bottom and select the HDMI plug that you are plugged into. I am gonna go chill out and watch, well, the Phillies game isn't on there yet. That's still Disney uh, running on there, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm gonna go chill out and watch the Phillies game. I hope you have a great rest of your day. This is Matt from Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews. Happy cruising, everybody.